How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, Amy has been waking up really early in the morning, like before six o'clock, and it's just like, okay, I have no choice. <laughs> So, I mean, I get a lot of stuff done, I guess, in the morning when, when I can, but yeah, it's still like, if I'm not like right next to her, she just starts <laughs> crying. So. Yeah. I just have my, uh, my nephews and my niece over here mm -hmm. and <clears throat> they all wake up at like, yeah, like six, seven, like yeah. <laughs> I can hear them out the door. Why is Jesse sleep forever? You're like, it's just 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what time do you normally wake up? Around seven thirty. So, I just don't like. I don't wake up bright and. and <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's like a slow, trudgy, like hour of reading articles on my phone. <laughs> as oh I yeah. Wake up. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I feel that. I used yeah. to sleep forever. At some point, I, I just realized I was like, this is probably not a good thing for my future. <laughs> Yeah, I tried really hard to uh, just say like like because yeah, I used to stay up. I used to stay up and like, oh my gosh, I I'd hear my dad like getting up for work, and I would be going to bed, mm -hmm. and so then I would be sleeping really late. But ultimately, it was not many more hours than normal. It was just like super off of anybody else's schedule. Yeah, yeah. Did that for a really long time before it was like, I guess it's useful to be alive when everything else is open and <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure yeah you yeah. say that too <laughs> it i don't know it feels more motivating and stuff when you wake up early though yeah at least for me it's like well it's like the start of a fresh day instead of waking up in the middle of the day and i'm just gonna play games or relax because i've already wasted half the day <laughs> and Right, you're already like you're already in that momentum, right? Like, yeah, yeah, I totally see that. Like, yeah, it took me it took me a long time to like because I tried to I I've gone through different times where I tried to wake up early. Ultimately, the only way to get that system working was to go to bed early. Yeah, like like I couldn't think about it. Like, oh, I gotta wake up early, so I gotta go to bed. It was more like I have to go to bed early. When I wake up is when I wake up. But like, that was the only way I could get it to like start switching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sacrificing the night was the was the hard part. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did too. I mean, I go to sleep now like by eleven. <laughs> yeah. Right. I right. Feel so yeah. old, but yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> like around nine thirty, I'm like I'm getting tired. <laughs> but oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So what have you been up to this last week? Um, I, you know, uh. Udemy, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they had like this massive sale. I think there's still one day on it. Mm. Uh, it was like ninety percent off everything. Yeah. Um. So like all the programs were pretty much like, I don't know, fifteen bucks or so. Mm -hmm. Um. So I bought like six of them, and uh, yeah, like for neuro linguistic programming, like master practitioner certification and yeah um game development and tarot card reading like just a bunch of oh, random. so there's an mbti one as well with like learning right. styles uh -huh. um i thought might be kind of interesting so yeah i just oh. bought a bunch of those and have been studying i gotta look it up yeah you should check it out there i mean there's a bunch of random stuff in there oh yeah like super cheaper Eighty four percent off and all that. Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's marketing and I think story development and writing and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Might be something just to check out because it's so cheap and you don't need to watch it right now anyway. Nice. Sweet. I've just been working on uh, just going through all sorts of stuff I'm juggling. Like I've got like a, a story I'm working out right now and I'm trying to decide some of the major personality type, the personality types of the major characters, the mm -hmm. protagonist and um, 
essentially like a type for the community as a whole, like the vibe that they give off, Mm -hmm. um, the type of culture, I guess, like, I guess like culture, almost like a personality type of the culture. Um, and I'm playing around with it being an interaction between INTP and ISTJ. Okay. And they're both a little bit unfamiliar. I don't think I know anybody really well that's those types, but it, they seem to suit the narrative. Mm. And so I'm kind of playing with what, how they would have conflict. Mm. Like what would be the Which nature ones did of you conflict? Say? ISTJ and mm-hmm. INTP. Okay. Let me uh, write it down for a second. Mm-hmm. What kind of a like culture is it besides related? To oh, it's it's a it's a like a essentially. I mean, it's not like super like it's not like totally like a culture and a community so much as it is. Uh, a team of engineers and so it's the the workers and the engineer that's developing like a line um creating essentially a tunnel or a bridge from one location to the other mm. and the story centers around like the the troubleshooting and the conflict and the tension of actually accomplishing that task mm. um and trying to show how that particular type of um like Someone trying to work with a team, essentially learning teamwork, mm. right? Um, and the group of the crew has more of the ISTJ feeling, and the like engineering person is more of the INTP. Mm. And so they have to coordinate and collaborate, but it's what's the nature of the type of commu- miscommunication that they would have or the tension that would come as a result of just their natural way of solving a similar big engineering type right. problem. That sounds interesting. Um. Yeah, I was actually, it reminds me, um, a couple of days ago, I was listening to like a Q&A from mm-hmm. Antonia, personality yeah. maker, and uh, it was it was talking to, let's see, it was like when you're explaining the personality type to somebody, and then you explain like their tertiary function or their inferior function, and uh, they're like, oh, no, I can do that. I'm good at that. And they're yeah. they're really not as good as they think they are, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so it was somebody saying like, I think it was in like ISFP or something, saying like, mm-hmm. no, I'm I'm good at you know checking off tasks and lists and you know getting things done and accomplishing things. And then yeah. she was like, well, in those situations, you should really just like don't sugarcoat it. Just fully explain like what somebody who, for example, leads with TE can do and can accomplish. And her example was like bridge construction. Mm, And mm -hmm. it was like having to understand all those resources. Yeah. People and things and like all these things that I can't begin to (laughs) pretend to understand about, you know? Yeah. And just like how well uh, TE dominant can actually deal with that stuff or even, you know, Mm -hmm. an auxiliary too, but yeah. Yeah. and just how they can keep track of all those resources and actually make sure that things function together and work Mm -hmm. in and go into this, you know, the long-term goal. Um, And when you explain it like that, as, you know, an IFP is probably going to be like, oh, no, no, I can't, I don't do that. (laughs) You know, that's (laughs) a little bit out of my uh, (laughs) drive or desire anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so right, it starts, yeah, it starts to clarify whether it's like a, it's like no it's not just this little like hobby task skill it's like this powerhouse skill that if you don't have that level of interest then like do you really yeah. <laughs> like, have a handle on that in the same way yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it's more than just a a little ability to do it it's like the compulsion the drive to actually do this and to mm-hmm. do it at this mastery level you know yeah uh, so I thought that was interesting when you were talking about that. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, because that's kind of what I was like. Like part of the idea was like that the ISTJs um, would have, like that's the the crew, like the the practical executing crew, like mm-hmm. 
you know, just, yeah, it seemed like they would have that type of clarity about what they wanted to accomplish and what they need to do practically to get it done Mm -hmm. and reliably, like, you know, follow the rules in order to get things so that they're not going to fall apart and all of those kinds of things. And then having the INTP coming in and essentially trying to solve the problem in a new way and then having issues with. Yeah. Like trying to, yeah, influence that without then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like I think what I need to understand a little bit more, like I, ISTJs, I don't know, like I said, like I don't know either of like a, an example of somebody in my life very well that has that mm-hmm. those characteristics. Um, but ISTJ is such a practical type skill set that it's a little easier to imagine. Yeah. I think INTPs, I kind of like get crossed a little bit in thinking like, oh, well, there's some. Co- quality of like any auxiliary that I can relate to Mm -hmm. but how they use it I think is like I like I don't want to assume I understand them more than I probably do Mm -hmm. um is kind of the thought right now is just trying to understand yeah like uh, yeah like to imagine just like how they are like in what ways are they stubborn to their ideas that they kind of want to stick to or their new ideas that they want to develop and workshop until they figure it out Mm -hmm. where it becomes impractical in the execution or diverges too much from like, okay, yeah, that's great, but we don't have time to develop a new way to do that. We actually just have these resources. Let's Uh. get it done. (laughs) You know, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's, yeah. Within the story, there'd be a lot of tension between NE and SI. And, yeah. and like the dynamics that they're in. Cause I, I would assume um, just based on, you know, being INFP is that like SI is, is kind of overwhelming, but we also like a lot of times I think um, assume that we can do more with SI than we actually can. <laughs> like <laughs> understanding how to like implement the procedures and things like that, like those, yeah, those things are something that I think we would struggle a lot more with. Where the ISTJs would uh, have just a more realistic approach to it and really understand like how much you can actually do with uh, with the resources like that TE is trying to use. Or yeah, um, it's almost like it kind of sounds like you're saying like almost like the our our feeling that we understand our like our tertiary for example is more idealistic Mm -hmm. like in how much we realize like we're like oh oh yeah like it's like there's an idealism to what we can accomplish with this function as opposed to a grounded realism that would happen if it was auxiliary or dominant yeah yeah definitely and like i think uh that would cause a lot of struggles because then also from the istj's perspective with NE as the inferior, um, Mm -hmm. whereas the INTP is trying to like, not necessarily lead with that, but like push out a lot of ideas and and Mm -hmm. creative approaches to it, which is going to like shake up the structure of what, well, of (laughs) the bridge and of (laughs) what they're trying to do and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Or the tunnel rather. Right. Right. I think that would be like, yeah. 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 Because what I'm trying to show is like like the like what I'm exploring right now is extremes like opposites like I was talking about last time mm-hmm. um, whether it's like TI to TE or like NE to SI these like kind of opposing things and how to create balance you need to take sacrifice a little bit of both to come to a center and not necessarily say oh this one can be really strong this one be really strong and then they just need to like no they don't like go alongside each other they just need to like come in together Mm. and so I want to show the INTP sacrificing a little bit of what they would indulge in in the Mm NE as well as to show the ISTP kind of pulling back and saying okay yeah I need to pull not go to excess of SI either Mm -hmm. Because there's some problems that they might face during this process that are impossible to SI it. Like, and now what do you do? You know, you can't solve the problem with just the one. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of convincing the other one that it's just this way. It's a matter of compromising. Mm -hmm. And so trying to figure out what that kind of compromise looks like for SI and any, like, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, some of it will be plot, definitely plot specific to like the scenarios, but mm-hmm. yeah, trying to understand where they're going to have that, what's going to help them come to, to a value of each other's mm. perspective is kind of a trick, right? Like, yeah. Like, I feel like I, I've talked about like how TI and uh, FI in my experience, like with ISTPs, like having that real opposite type. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a, it's kind of a relationship where serving each other is helpful to really establishing a rapport and understanding and valuing each other. Mm-hmm. Like you really need to serve each other. It's not like a, it's great if you, it's like, this is somewhat necessary for my <laughs> yeah. survival. Yeah. 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 You and can't so, like, get I through feel like, it if you don't. Right. And I don't know if it's similar to like some of the socionics kind of intertype relations that people rec- like talk about different ways that the types mm-hmm. uh, communicate, but a lot of the socionics just, uh, just explains how they misunderstand each other, at least to the light level that I've gone into it, how they misunderstand each other and the opportunities for conflict or benefit, but they don't necessarily explain if you're in a conflicting type or you have a tension situation, is it service? Is mm-hmm. it, what do you do like, to what get is out of the, it? What is the actual thing that helps get out of it? Mm. Um, more effectively for that inner type relation. So I think service is a good one across the board. It definitely helps sure. people relate to each yeah. other. But I think that some of them are necessary and some of them it's like, eh, you can get along without it. It's just <laughs> good. You know, like, <laughs> it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say service is always a, a good thing to, <laughs> right. to go for, it, you know, the first thing. It's a good, it's a good go-to for generally like uh, appreciating and, and recognizing each other. I think that, it seems like some types it really can be something where it's like you have to be it's super conscious like you're not like I think like if you were to say type to type there's not so much conflict that you don't actually you don't actually start to build up tension Mm -hmm. unnecessarily because you generally understand where the other person's going and so you don't need to be like oh I don't know that they recognized or understood me you're like no I didn't really need anything special for that Uh where like some types it's like we don't get each other yeah and so we have to like do very conscious intentional actions Mm -hmm. to keep this working yeah i think that yeah just kind of a a guess i I think that a lot of that comes from having the same uh perceiving functions within your Mm -hmm. stack uh it's Mm -hmm. like it's that worldview understanding of like how not how to make decisions, you know, but like how, how the world works. Um, and so I, yeah. I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of that within those, those two types, ISTJ, INTP, but hmm. you know, you bring in the balance of which is preferred and which is like vulnerable and all that stuff. It right. complicates that. And then like, yeah, obviously the decision-making process is going to be different, but which is which is like to me it's like at least at least theoretically there's some element of like the fact that you go, okay so say you have this similar worldview and you kind of see the world and you learn and and access the world in a similar way but you make different types of judgments it would be like confusing in a different way mm-hmm. You're like well you saw the same thing as me we were on the same page and then suddenly you made this decision and I just don't get it mm-hmm. like you know, because you've got this different preference for, you know, efficiency or yeah. or that accuracy of TI, like that's going to change the solution. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hmm. I think a lot of it would come down to like the ISTJs wanting the INTP to to make it practical to make it usable whatever it is like all the ideas that could come out they're they're nice they're fine but like if you're not pushing forward the the project then it's really not helping anything in that in their mindset i would assume right Um, so maybe the timeline of the istj is like like okay yeah yeah um yeah them trying to ground it in like the, the practicality of their the past experiences or like how, how they've always built the tunnels or how it should be built or whatever like that, where the INTP yeah. might be coming out there with like some new technology idea to do it. Maybe right. not actually like machine technology, but like a new approach to right. it. And uh, 
some sort of fighting that that like well we've never done it like this so I don't know if it's the right choice and there's maybe a timeline or some sort of pressure coming at it right right because because the iron because I think this is like I think it's what's good to bring in is like the INTP might be bringing in some new approach that they've, you know, based on the fact that like there's a new technology or there's a new opportunity or a new kind of environment that they're dealing with that would allow them to say, Oh, we don't have to solve this in the same way we have before. Let's customize the solution to suit, you know, what we've got that's new, but it's a lot of theoretical information or it's a lot of new technique. And so ultimately I think it's good to have, a point where you realize that the INTP isn't right just because they are at the cutting edge. Mm -hmm. Like, because it hasn't been proven until it's been proven. Like, it's still not, it's just a theory. Yeah. And so what you have with the ISTJs is saying, well, it's just a theory. Yeah. Like, that's great, but but we need to make sure this thing works and it's safe. And how are we going to, how much time are we going to spend doing that? And, Uh like, we don't want to... Uh, endanger the people who are working on it by using this technique that's a theory. Mm-hmm. Like, and so there's a lot of like, both of them aren't right. And I want to point that out. Neither yeah. is right and neither is wrong. Mm-hmm. I just want it to be like, they just need to finish the que- finish the solution. Mm-hmm. Like it's not done without both sides being part of the problem solving. Yeah. You could do something with like having them both, you know, throughout the story have to like sacrifice something or like have like the INTP be forced to do FE things like to, to convince and to like Mm -hmm. motivate the, the people within the team um, to Mm. listen to him by, by like kind of joining in, getting on their side type thing. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And through doing that, maybe it, it convinces the ISTJs to, to loosen up and, and kind of, allow some of that NE innovation to come in. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know how you would do that within the story, but that's completely your department. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just like, yeah, like, no, 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 this makes sense. There was something you were saying one time where we were talking about, uh, I think I was talking about an INFP, INFJ interaction or something, and it was it was something where you were saying... Um, it wasn't this, using the same function. It wasn't using the function that they would that the other would prefer, but it was using a function that kind of felt like that. It was like SI to I don't know, what was it SI, yeah. um, SI to FI or something. It was like this, like some other uh, crossing where it's like it's not exactly the same, but it feels enough l- like it. Mm-hmm to soften the blow of yeah. this opposing perspective. Yeah. I don't was it exactly. It was, I think, your sister, ESFJ or ISFJ? Well, maybe, uh, ESFJ is my, well, I have an ISCP and ESFJ. It was the ESFJ then. Okay, And I okay. think it was, I, I don't remember the context behind it, but it was yeah. trying to get her to realize that each person is unique in their own way by speaking to her SI and, and explain that it's like, you know, everybody oh. is built from these experiences. Yes, that are yes, put yes. See how people are built how... from their experiences. So it's using the FI to like, like access the FI, like, like trying to get them to think about FI, but essentially just using SI to get them there. Yeah. Like see how you have been built as a result of your experiences. Now let's imagine these other people have that. Now like now let's give them the benefit of realizing that they're different and individual and you need to understand that before you make this broader yeah. judgment or categorization mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. yeah. So I wonder if there's something like that within Yeah, this, that's kind of thinking I'm like maybe it was one of those kind of those kinds of things can be the the bridge in communication that like it's not exactly the same but mm. I don't know if I can do all the brain math. <laughs> <laughs> so it totally is brain math. <laughs> I'm gonna write down. The did you feel the doing. same way when you were? Uh, oh, that, well, this is gonna get us distracted. But um, <laughs> when you were studying Korean, did it feel like math to you? Because Japanese, yeah, like, when I first started, I was like, "Oh God, I hate math," and this feels like I'm doing math all day. I think it felt like it felt like the logic of math because it was so um, 
consistent and and like and formulaic because it wasn't so unpredictable. I mean, English has so much mixed language in it that you just can't pre- like the rule, except for when all the other times when it's not English <laughs> right. and you don't know because they didn't tell you it's not an English word. Like where I remember going to Japanese and like Japanese class and starting to learn Korean. And I just remember going, Oh, I only have to learn one conjugation. This is the best thing ever. You know, like, <laughs> So it was like math, but it was like, I don't normally like math, but I, in that <laughs> I way, I appreciated math. they didn't have to learn 80 different, like, Italians, a million conjugations for whatever versions of things, and feminine and masculine, yeah. and I was just like, I can't, I get so many words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It does feel like this, though, like, some of the things that I was doing with, um, I was creating some beat sheets, like, like, like just beats, like, right, uh, Jotting down the different beats in the story, mm-hmm. starting with Hero's Journey and then doing kind of in-betweens between those major beats. Mm-hmm. And I started putting like functional notes like I usually do with like, oh, yeah, let's look at the archetypes and stuff. And I started feeling like I was just doing math problems. And then after I was done with the math problems, I went and rewrote it and made it sound like it was story. But it, before I was just me <laughs> just like, like calculating, calculating completely. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm still like. I'm No, here yeah, it's good. It, this is a this stuff. is a it was a hard it was a hard proposition of that because I just with that F I S I conversation from before. It's T I I don't know if, if this is gonna amount to anything, but like huh? so with with the previous example, the INFP trying to to help out the ESFJ Mm -hmm. it was does this I don't know if you know where is the oh there you go there you go can you see that so like the INFP is using FI to do SI right Uh the first function to do the third function which is the second function of the ESFJ yeah I don't know if this is gonna make any no no no. yeah but then so let's take the pattern (laughs) so then like looking at the Oh, it, I know it's backwards, that, isn't that, it? Yeah, that, yeah. But it's yeah, still, yeah, it's, so it it's using T-I and S-I to maybe do T-E. I wonder if that pattern works the same, though, because the, the in the know. INFPs, no, I'm, that's, it's like, I want to figure that out, because I think there's a pattern in it. In the INFPs to the, I, to the ESFJs, it, there, there's one function in there that's shared, Yeah. and I wonder if that's why it makes it easier to translate. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do like that idea of like, is there a yeah. dominant plus tertiary to address a second, uh, an auxiliary that you don't, uh, like you're not connecting to. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just, I started like bolding things. <laughs> 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 that's what I do. That's how I problem solve. And it makes it make, it's anything that helps. It, that's, that's the, uh, to me, that's like making your any efficient, right? Mm. You're like you're color coding your your mood board pattern so that you don't get just lost in massive information. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Sh- Oops. Ah. Okay. S I S I. Wonder. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't know if there's a clean way of doing it. Because especially in this one, it's two introverts. Yeah, right? that might be that might be a big difference. That's probably the difference with the the switch in that dominant and tertiary to yeah. the secondary because it's the introverted functions talking to each other. Yeah. So would. So if the conflict, I mean, the conflict's going to happen majorly with the dominant and auxiliaries as like how things make sense is the most effective that they feel confident in accomplishing. Like you're going to make somebody feel out of their comfort zone or concerned if you're going to push them the farther you push them down. Mm -hmm. So like if we are really dealing with T I N E and S I T E and just saying, let's, let's shelf the other ones for the sake of just Mm -hmm. looking at the pattern. Then if, See, and I see that that's the thing is neither of them have this a shared function in that context. I have a meeting. I can say hi. Hello. 
<laughs> I like your hair. So you liked your hair. You can't hear. She can't hear you. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> Yeah, so it's the it's having no shared dominant or auxiliary function yeah. that's really I'm trapped. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of just thinking about that too. Like when the INTP is trying to convince them and support them through NE, mm -hmm. through the auxiliary function, it's going to come out as like that other energy, right? Like yeah. from the inferior oh, function from the ISTJ. Right, 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 right. Um, and I think the same for the ISTJ, when the ISTJ is trying to support and, and mentor or whatever through TE, yeah, it's going to come off to the INTP like that rival opposing. Right. Opposing okay, so yeah, maybe role. let's look at, so like, let's, uh, so essentially the ISTP, ISTJ, ISTJ will seem... Let's see. Yeah, will seem like a rival when they are in good parent mode. Mm -hmm. And then the INTP will seem like, what, what was the one that you pointed out? I think it was. The INTP? Um, mm -hmm. When trying to like support through NE. Mm hmm. It's gonna come off to the ISTJ as this. The, it's other the anima. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's the kind of like rebellious. Mm. Like why are you trying to shake things up when you don't have to? That's not how we do things here. Mm. But from the INTP, it's coming off as like this is. I'm I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to, you know, help you get new ideas and brainstorm and all this other stuff okay yeah so like yeah so like their good parent mode is going to just feel like they're shaking things up unnecessarily mm -hmm. like we don't yeah like like we're not dealing with that kind of problem like what are you mm -hmm. why are you doing that and whereas maybe like si from the istj could come to the intp i don't know how but i mean it would be some sort of childish like uh, maybe, maybe it's like, I wish I could do something like that. Mm. I don't know. Right, like a, yeah. Like a... Because the command of SI to the... Yeah, where the INTP, uh, INTP will have a little bit of that. It's the child, good child, mm. right? Just the childish. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it could also come off as, like, seeing the ISTJs more like they, they need to grow up. Or something like that. If you're projecting because they the see SI that as weakness, a childlike yeah. aspe aspect. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you guys, so they, why are you stuck in this? Like, why don't you grow up? Come get with the times and like. Right. When I'm stuck in that, that's me being immature. When I'm being adult and helpful, I'm using any, and yeah. so they're seeing it as like the projection of yeah. their. Yeah. What is, what is a, I mean, do you, can you think of an example where an INTP would be stuck? I mean, that's the loop, right? The, the, they were stuck in SI and they would say, okay, that's me when I'm in, a, in an unhealthy loop. So this is obviously you guys in an unhealthy loop because they're projecting. Mm. What does an INTP stuck in SI kind of look like in your mind? I think it's pretty much the same as, as well, not, you know, completely yeah. the same for INFPs where it's just like, it's, it's yeah. so comfortable. And so, mm. like, easy to stay here, and, yeah. and to to listen to the the past and those beliefs that kind of like hold up the the. So those the they're experiences see, uh, that hold up the belief, rather. Yeah, so they might see they might see ISTJs as unnecessarily staying in their comfort zone when that's like that's not healthy to do. We need to like step out and grow up, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, well yeah. Okay. Said. Yeah. Um, it, but I, I mean, I would guess it would be more tied to, you know, thinking instead of feeling, right? So it would be like this idea is the, the correct idea that's held, like been the one that supported me for so long. So I'm not going to think of 
another idea, perhaps, if you're just stuck in TISI, right? It would be like, mm. I'm going to stick with this theory that I've crafted because it's helpful. It's, yeah, it's, it's a logical loop, not, a, not an emotional loop, like yeah. a FISI loop. Probably not as much, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good to, that's good, like, I think that's good to point out. I think, like, I'm also kind of interested in thinking about, okay, so, like, one of the reasons that I would imagine that they would have issues, especially with conflict resolution, is the more that they are emotionally triggered, whether it's their motivation or their functions, um, like, that they are both weaker in knowing how to address those things. Like, there's a child function for the ISTJ in in the emotional reasoning kind of mm -hmm. category, their FI. Mm -hmm. And then there's the FE of the INTP, which is just, it's just doesn't read as clearly. And if there's in that, it's a more, it's again, it's like a more immature, simple, uh, emotional reasoning skill. Sure. And so if there's conflict that comes that triggers emotional reaction, uh -huh. neither of them is quite equipped to like communicate yeah. about it. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's good. Um, I don't know how it would come up necessarily, but like with FI as the tertiary function, I think a lot of times it gets it gets stuck on some strong emotion like pride or guilt or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Like um, a it's like it's like a fairy, only one emotion at a time. <laughs> <laughs> just one, just one. <laughs> Everybody gets one. Yeah, so it's just like. Yeah, I, I think it would latch onto that, and like yeah. maybe we have this extreme pride in how we build this thing and how we interact together. This is, you know, in, in connecting it to that feeling kind of side. Whereas the INTP, I mean, it would also be a vulnerable area, but it's like maybe more of like how do I convince, how do I articulate these ideas? Yeah. Um, in a way that they can get it. <laughs> and and it yeah, it's, logic it's the, is not going through. So Yeah, they don't have I think that's what I see with the ISCPs, like my sisters expressed, like the difficulty with persuasion. Like it's just like once she realizes that there's an emotional persuasion necessary, she's kind of stuck. Yeah. Like and so it's just like you know, like I'll try to think of like the thing that's like it sounds reasonable. Like you guys shouldn't be like triggered by it. It's lot. I presented it so that you shouldn't have to be like oh crazy. But like <laughs> if they do react that way, she's at a loss with like how do I address that because they're just irrational. Yeah. And so like she'll just get and then get frustrated with like the inability to persuade and just be like oh my gosh everybody's just like well, these emotions are just like just crazy like uh -huh. calm uh, yeah, yeah you know. Well, still being affected by it, right? It's sure. still upsetting. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's an aspiration. <laughs> yeah. You know, when when they do figure it out, it's like that's the key that unlocks everything. It's like this is something I need to help other people with now and share with other people and stuff like that. But right. So in, in you've essence, spent so much time on it. Yeah. Right. So the is the INTP is going to need need um, to like figure out how to persuade yeah. in some way, however they need to. Like some way they're going to have to come up with a persuasive technique because their FE is low, but once conflict arises, they have to resolve it and they don't have the skill to feel comfortable dealing with somebody in emotional stress. Like if their, yeah, pri if their pride is being triggered and you're now upsetting the childlike tertiary function of the ISTJ, mm -hmm. now they're like, oh, great, how do I... It's an immature. It's an immature expression of emotional distress mm -hmm. that is not going to be like as articulate. Because if I think if you're talking to someone who has higher emotional reasoning, like mm -hmm. they're they might react. They'll react because it's you know like because it's easier to access that. Mm -hmm. But they also it, have the yeah they have also have the ability to like self get out of the problem. Mm -hmm. You're more familiar with your own emotions and so you're like, "Oh yeah, I know when I feel like this, I probably need to do this." Where someone with a lower or on the stack kind mm -hmm. of weaker emotional reasoning skill mm -hmm. is going to not have as much of an ability to get themselves out of it. Yeah. yeah. They need help. Yeah. 
Are there any other like supporting characters? I mean, I'm sure there. I haven't. I just started like uh, like messing around with the premise and then saying, <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's just kind of like these people are trying to create a create something, something. together, like mm-hmm. enact an idea. And I want two personalities, the the conflict between them to be the the thing that the story is coming through is Mm -hmm. like them learning how to resolve their differences and come together. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm still just playing around with it to see what I would need in order to help them get to that point. Uh Yeah. I I definitely think a lot of the tension would come through like the S and N for sure. Mm -hmm. But like... um, also, the probably the ISTJs being able to more easily articulate what their logic is with the situation and like why we follow this precedent. Yeah. Um, and the INTP would would maybe struggle with giving it that tangibility mm. um, and and referencing possibly something that um, they've already done to show that it works or something like that. And yeah, they would have to. There's a lot of like unex- a bit for that. Yeah, it feels like it's a lot of like um, it's almost like TI and FI get like a curse of knowledge effect. Probably just, I mean, I guess the dominant function might just have this in general, but I think I introverted dominant functions would make more sense as being having a diff- more difficult time with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's almost like yeah, it's like the curse of knowledge, right? they don't know how to articulate it because it's hard for them to imagine that you don't get it. Yeah. Like, yeah, because it's just, it's so inherent that forcing someone to articulate the things that they're feeling when it's just like, doesn't everybody feel this? Like, why do I have to go so far to articulate it? Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's the same struggle as like looking at an INFP trying to put words to the things that they're Mm -hmm. figuring out. Like decide the TI version of their FI mm-hmm. experience. It's like, oh gosh, like really? Can someone just meet me halfway so I don't have to go so far? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely though. Like, I mean, TI is is about naming and defining and categorizing and stuff. But it's like, it could be. You might want to look into Enneagram stuff as well, like five and six for example, or yeah. like five and one, I don't know. Yeah, um, I was kind of thinking probably, five and six with those. Yeah. <laughs> um, and like possibly the INTP just talking in maybe too high of a language or like too mm. specific with the terms that, you know, they know and they've they've used to define the situation or whatever the, the concept Like they've, they've gotten comfortable with just like cut through the set up the explanation. Like we already know that there's a word for that. Let's just use that word. It's the most efficient logical like choice, but then it's too far beyond the Mm -hmm. comprehension of the other person. Or, or more of like just the, the long winded, like explaining and explaining and explaining. um, Yeah. But struggling to actually to bring it down the conceptual ladder to make it, practical i don't know Mm -hmm. it's like just a scene within the thing yeah 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 there's some stuff to play with with that like i feel like i'm gonna have to like throw it in a mixer and like Like, let's see what see what these how these pieces, these pieces kind of come through. But like, yeah, I, I'm. It's at least at, at least it's validating that I think I I still like them as the dynamic because I was just starting to play with that yesterday with like you know what is the the duo of personality types that I want to be dominating the conflict. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be an interesting. Uh, two different forces come together. Yeah. I mean, cause ultimately I kind of want to do that with, um, 
just keep exploring that in stories, like taking two personality types and throwing them together and seeing what happens, Mm -hmm. trying to come up with a plot that makes enough sense that they would be in the same scenario. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I was playing with this one. It was like, there's something they just need to accomplish a practical task together. Mm -hmm. But because it's an engineering task, there's room for change that the INTP can bring. Mm -hmm. But the ISTJ is going to be like, this is, you know, this is what we're working with. These are the dangers of the scenario that we've already anticipated. We want to make sure we don't actually put ourselves in, in a bind. Yeah. You know, and so that there would be this balance of considerations to get the task done. Mm -hmm. Also looking at like the firm model to, um, yeah. SI's feel of being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Or, de- or desire to be invulnerable, I guess. Yeah. Um, which would be them latching on to the past and then and how, Things that how they strongly know. they feel about it as well with the tertiary functions to make them right. You know? Yeah. And then the INTP wanting to be right, so maybe taking more time. I don't know. Take. Yeah. I don't know how, how would they... How they would come out trying to be right in that situation, but uh, look, I guess it would just be looking into like the frameworks that they've made, the blueprints or whatever within their head, mm. and how mm. it's helped them in the past or something like that. Or uh, yeah, like what is the yeah? How because SI is easy to like. Oh yeah, the past experience informs the success of the future mm. experiences if it's close enough, mm-hmm. like. And it's always going to be seeking the how it is close to it so that they can check. Mm-hmm. Where TI trying to be right. Is that, that was all the, with the firm model, it was all the, was that F, is FI in that category too? I'm, yeah. I'm like, I know I have yeah. them down. JI would be yeah. FI and TI trying to be right. Trying to be right. Or, yeah, yeah. My INTP friend said it like a couple weeks ago, I'm always right. So, <laughs> he's like, I'm always right, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> um, and he is. He's almost, you know, he's... Yeah. Because he spends well, so much time thinking about it, you know. The thing that's, I think that's, that's, that's kind of like with FI. It's, it's one of those things where you just go... Like when another person offers like, well, you think it's this and you're like, how much time do you spend thinking about this? Like, like, like the amount of things that I've already discounted because I've just done this so Mm -hmm. much, like sorting through all of these things. I'm like, like, I've got so many tools to efficiently categorize things and go through. You're like, if you don't think about this primarily, like all the time, then I don't know how much I can trust your point of view. Yeah, yeah. It's a very immature way to like completely discount things, but like it still has like but that. But it's true. I mean, it happens. <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's, I mean, that's how I trust people too. You know, like they've yeah. spent more time thinking about it or experiencing it, doing it than I have. So, yeah. Um, I might have to leave in like 15 minutes. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't, it depends if Amy's awake. Like, I'll, I'll have to move downstairs. No, oh, that's it's, it's no worries. We can we can just do a shorter a shorter run at it. Um, I've got some other things that I can wrap up. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sorry, yeah. I'll I go through. I'll, earlier. <laughs> that's totally fine. It's fine. I'll go over the firm model again then. Again, like I think that one. We keep bringing it up, and like I just need to remember it offhand. I think it's starting to stick just because it's so close to what I've been doing with combining enneagram with functions. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it yeah. ends up just being like the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, but it's giving that, it's giving the, it's the same reason that I was trying to do that with Enneagram. It's like, I, like in order to cr- use it for story more efficiently, it, there needs to be an emotional motivation associated with the function. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're, whether you have to add Enneagram or just, com- or like connect them somehow just because it's too, um, it's just a tool. I mean, the function is yeah. just a tool, but it doesn't make it trigger emotional or fictional and you know parables or ideas or whatever Mm -hmm. without the motivation yeah yeah well it definitely helps for giving Mm -hmm. it more life yeah um 
Mm-hmm. It's still, I mean, it's it's still a little difficult to think about from other people's, from like, especially TI's perspective coming from mm-hmm. an FI, you know, like, I know how I try to be right a lot of ways, yeah. but I don't know. I, yeah, it's, it, there is like, there is something really, I mean, okay, look, so let's look at five, right, for Enneagram, which has that kind of quality, like there's this like it has that tra- it translates to me in that sort of trying to mm-hmm. be right um sort of knowledge heavy mm. focus accuracy heavy focus mm. like with 5 it's a is it fear wait fear right 2 3 and 4 are shame yeah 5 6 and 7 are fear yeah, right yeah so five is a fear. So I don't remember five offhand. I feel like I just like spaced on these. The um, investigator, right? Like yeah, internalized the fear. Right. What is their like primary fear is, do you remember offhand? I haven't looked into Enneagram in a Hold while. On. I have it on here. I think I was just working on a document just a sec. Five is... I mean, I know a lot of it. Fear of being helpless and inadequate. Okay. So competency. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I know a lot of it is like wanting to absorb as much information as possible so that you can protect yourself in a way. So you you know what's mm-hmm. coming and you have your your area of. I guess dominance. Uh huh. Uh, so it's kind of like how you're pro- trying to protect yourself. So if we were to say, TI protects itself with information. Mm. You know, SI. If you were to connect it to sure. yeah, to like six. If you were to say it's like that SI six quality, it's like trying to protect itself with support. Right. It's a little bit more tangible. A little bit mm-hmm. more like, you know, words of support, a structure, a security, mm-hmm. those kinds of things. And so it sounds like. There's both, I mean, both of them have an, a vulnerability that fear is coming, mm-hmm. is being caused by or whatever. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And vulnerability of SI is maybe just more physical, right? Where in vulnerability yeah. of TI is just, it's the mental version of the same thing. It's in vulnerability mm. of, of information, yeah. logic. Yeah. Which would come from intellectual clarity, I assume. And- yeah. Yeah, having so things I guess it's, properly categorized and named. Right. Right. So I guess it's it's kind of I think I think thinking of the firm model in relation to like the mental, physical, spiritual, emotional terms mm. might be going. Oh, okay, they're still they're still addressing you know this, mixing that with enneagram and kind of putting them all together. It's just the idea of like they're both dealing with vulnerability because that's what fear is connected mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. But what realm? spiritual physical emotional or mental are they feeling vulnerable about Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what is what causes them the most distress yeah Mm. yeah i want to play with those now that that's starting to like slowly (laughs) there are too many like data points to like fuse together right right because these feel like it feels like it's making more sense to think about so that's because when you were saying trying to be right i'm like it still sounds like vulnerability because mm. what why would you need to be right you know rightness gives you comfort mm. because rightness is reliable and so it's mm. similar in nature to the si so maybe that's where they kind of connect maybe the the two istj and the intp are both if i if i connect the idea that they both feel vulnerable mm with the unknown, Mm -hmm. but they're just solving a different domain of Mm -hmm. the unknown, Mm -hmm. then they're not seeing each other as conflicting on each other's domains. This one is dealing with the the logical domain and this one's dealing with the sensory domain. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that's good. Uh, Hold on one second. Yeah. Hi. Nani. Moika. 
。起きてる ?OK。あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、And shoot you anything if I combine them into anything.、Mm-hmm. But I think that idea of saying they're both dealing with vulnerability, but they're dealing with different domains. If I can make them recognize that,、mm-hmm. they won't feel like they're stepping on each other's toes. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. Okay. Sweet. Thanks. All right. Okay. See you. Have next a good day.、Time. All right. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.